Welcome back. Cinnamon is a fall favorite and popular spice and most. Oh, we got an earthquake. We certainly do. We got an earthquake right now. Leslie, we get you prepared to talk about this. We're shaking pretty good. Um, three, three, three or four, I, I guess was that magnitude. She's looking up at the ceiling. Uh, so we're going to hold on this. I'm going to pull up some social media here to see because pretty quickly we get a report on the size of this thing. Leslie, what do you think? I did not get any alert on my phone. Did you? Our producer you know, did get an alert to her phone. Oh, oh she did. You know what? Yeah. I was on my phone that whole time, and I did not get the 5.0 oh in Malibu. Right. See, that information comes so quickly, which is amazing. Already hearing that this was a 5.0 wow, oh in one. Malibu. Yeah, so we're, we are in Glendale and working to get information here. Fascinating. That was a big one. I um, think you felt it, Leslie, even just sure. a moment before me as my camera and the lights above us began to shake. And we got a lot of them here in studio. Right. Uh, any additional moment, we were probably going to have to move and get under a desk or something. I'm trying to get on the USGS website right now to get the latest information. Here we go. 5.1 out of the Malibu area. Um, just happened moments ago. This is going to be the a particular earthquake we felt. So again, how many miles away are we from Malibu? About 20 to 30, would you say, Mark? And um, we felt it all the way over here in Glendale, Burbank. So even the foothill communities are dealing with that. Um, you know, when we talk about these earthquakes, people that are right near the epicenter sometimes don't feel them as strong. And as it fans out and moves out, we can feel it a lot stronger. So as we're getting reports, we want to know what areas felt it the strongest and how far away it was felt. So please feel free to tweet us, give us any information out there on social media. We'd love to hear from you. I know that was a, quite a shake and uh, we're in a big studio and all the cameras and the lights, they were moving. Uh, I know you get you get a little nervous and you get prepared to go under the desk. You didn't do that though, Mark. We're supposed to do I that. I was watching you, my friend. Now here's <laughs> the thing. John Gregory will join me here uh, momentarily, but 5.1, the one thing to remember is earthquakes do happen in Southern California. We know this. Okay, uh, this it's been one updated, Mark. Sorry. Now it's going down to 4.6. We always have preliminary. Sure, absolutely. And then it gets adjusted. So now 4.6 has been adjusted. And every point that we go down is significant. I mean, 4.6 to 5.1, I mean, that is a significant difference. So again, this information is changing here by the minute. Welcome back. A 4.7 magnitude earthquake strikes near Malibu, giving SoCal quite the wake up call this morning. Yeah, it didn't need your alarm. <laughs> it also <laughs> broke a record for the most magnitude four and above quakes in SoCal in a single year with 14 already. Fortunately, the quake didn't do any damage, but as KCAL's Jeff DeWin shows us, it did shake people up a bit. <laughs> A moment of panic for the owner of this cleaning business as it rattled Thursday morning during a 4.7 earthquake. This just sounded like a loud bang. At a nearby paint store in Calabasas, Carlos Lopez and his co-worker walked out the back door as the earth started to move and shells swayed. And all of a sudden we start hearing like the building crack a little bit. And then everything just started shaking. The quake was centered more than three miles northwest of Malibu and nearly five miles southwest of Agora Hills, strong enough to send rocks onto Malibu Canyon Road. Gabriel Figueroa says he heard some rumbling, then came the shaking. It was like a side to side. Fortunately, nothing tipped over. And luckily, most of our stuff has a, a seismic package, so it, it doesn't move much. Otherwise, we probably would have had a little mess because it was it was kind of hectic, you know. Sky Cal was over Daniel Webster Middle School in West LA as students were led onto the athletic field while the buildings were checked out. Is this yours too? At Scott's Malibu Market, a camera captured tea boxes shaking as the baker held onto a display case. For a good 10 seconds, you were you were just questioning like what's going on. You know, it was a little more violent than your your average earthquake here in LA. The owner says he opened for business less than three weeks ago, never imagined he would draw attention like this. My last name is Richter and we're on the news today because of the earthquakes. Back at the paint store, Northridge native Gabriel Figueroa wishes today's phone alerts were available back in 1994 during that infamous earthquake of his childhood. Helpful and grateful for my kids and other generations now that, you know, can get a little extra chance to you know, get away. Nothing fell off shelves at the businesses we checked out, and there have not been any reports of any major damage or injuries. In Calabasas, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News. 
Well, today's quake comes in the wake of numerous earthquakes that we felt in SoCal in just the last month, which led a lot of folks to question if the increase means anything. We spoke to seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones for the answer. Um, this is a really good reminder that the quiet of the last couple of decades is not our long-term picture, and, and we do need to be prepared.